Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also make sure you turn off your hot and cold water supplies. In this video we're going to show you how to change out the lower agitator. It's going to be a very easy repair and should only take a few minutes for you to do. If you already have one, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the box, you're going to get a new lower agitator. The main reason you want to change out the lower agitator is if the teeth that lock onto the transmission shaft are worn out and it's no longer driving the agitator. First, we have to go ahead and open up the washer lid to gain access to the inside of the washer. We have to go ahead and remove the fabric dispenser. Our particular model just pulls off. Other fabric dispensers may have a lock ring that you have to pull up on to disengage and then lift up on the fabric dispenser and then there's probably going to be a cap underneath it. You'll have to pry off the cap with a flathead screwdriver. Most models have a dust cap. We need to pull it out so we can get to the agitator bolt. If the dust cap seal is damaged, you should order a new one from AppliancePartsPros.com. Underneath the dust cap is the inner agitator assembly and the agitator hold down bolt. So grab your 7 16 inch socket with a long extension. When you first start to take out the bolt, it may be a little tight. So you have to reach down inside the tub and hold the lower agitator while you break it free. Once you feel that the bolt is all the way out of the threads, lift the agitator out of the washer. The bolt will stay in the agitator until we take it apart. With the agitator out of the machine, we can separate it into its two pieces. Stand on the lower half of the agitator and pull up on the upper half of the agitator. Okay, now we have the old agitator out and taken apart, and here we have the new lower agitator. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. We have to go ahead and swap out the thrust washer from the old one to the new one. If this is damaged or broken in any way, you can always go ahead and order up another one. This is where you have to put a little bit of white grease before you reassemble it. And now we have to go ahead and take the upper assembly get our bolt out of it. There's locking tabs on the lower agitator that lock together with this part, the agitator cam. Um, when you push them together, it holds the upper and the lower agitator together. You don't have to do this. The instructions actually say for you to remove the tabs and just use the bolt to put it together. But I like to put it together the way it came out. It makes it easier to carry around. Once you have the upper agitator onto the lower agitator and the tabs inside are lined up, you can reach down inside the agitator and lock the two halves together. Once you do that, the agitator is now in one piece and it's ready to be installed back into the machine. Grab your agitator bolt and your socket, 7 16 inch, and hold your finger onto the screw and guide it back down into the hole. Once you have it in there, go ahead and tighten it down. Once the agitator bolt starts to tighten down, you may have to reach inside the washer tub to hold the lower agitator so it doesn't spin. Once you have the bolt installed, we have to put back in the dust cap. This sometimes goes in and pulls off the seal, so make sure you take a drop of liquid detergent and put it around the edge so it slides down into place nice and easy. We can reinstall any cap or fabric dispenser you took off to get the agitator out. Just go ahead and snap it back in place. Ours is just the snap-in type. So that's all you got to do. Now that you have the machine reassembled, you can go ahead and plug it back in, turn the water back on, and take it for a test spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.